live. Tada bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. Euh, alors, comment ça va aujourd'hui Bonjour. Euh, bonjour Luyen, bonjour uh, Kids and Love. Uh, and thank you, thank you very much. Uh, bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. Krishna, bonjour Jones, Jones Montgomery. I'm glad that you've got, uh, you've followed me for a year now and I'm hoping that you've learned quite a lot of French through the lessons. Bonjour Faisal, bonjour Amou, and bonjour catch it is, uh, catch it, Jama, please, please catch, catch it is. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to, you know, uh, do a bad job of your name here. Um, can I call you Jama? Bonjour, bonjour tout le monde, bonjour, and uh, Azerbaijan, bonjour tout le monde, Afrique du Sud. Earl, bonjour, uh, from, uh, yeah, from England here en Angleterre and to all of you out there in the world. Bonjour tout le monde, comment allez-vous? Je vais bien. Comment allez-vous, madame? Je vais très, très bien. Uh, so I'm here to answer some of your questions and obviously Adam on the other side will feed me some of the questions. So if we are not answering your question, it's because it's, it's, there is quite a lot of them. So we are going to take the main questions. If you have a question, please don't hesitate. I'm here for 30 minutes, okay? Bonjour, uh, Ray. Bonjour, uh, Maïka. Bonjour, Katiyar. Bonjour, Puelam. Uh, Kalo, Mayesha, Jajan, Darun, Ankali, the place. Bonjour, uh, Narul, et, uh, bonjour, Ahmed, Onur, etc. Bonjour. Euh, merci beaucoup, Tisha. Vos vidéos sont très utiles. Merci beaucoup. Uh, my vid the, the, uh, I'm glad that you find the videos very useful and I hope that it brings you, uh, you know, some kind of, of, um, of happiness somehow and helps you in the course you're taking. Hong Kong, Max, bonjour. Bonjour. Thank you for help. They helped me prepare my French lesson, my leçon de français. Uh, are we live now? Yes, Johns. We are live now. Bonjour, everyone. I'm so excited. Great my name. Great my name. I've done that, Johns. Bonjour. Yes, we are live. Uh, yes, je parle français. Bonjour. Okay. Do we have any questions out there? Um, we had a first question. Was it of déjà vu? I think. How do you improve our French pronunciation, Nazrul? I'm going to answer that because I think it's quite useful to start with. Um, issue with pronouncing. See, we've got two. Okay. I think the best way to improve your pronunciation in this French is to practice with a French person. And I know you're going to tell me, but I live in India and uh, nobody speaks French out there. Um, I think it's, it's very good if you find a group other than this one, obviously, because there are too many people, but uh, a French group, conversation group. And I know that there are some very cheap way of uh, practicing your French with uh, people that teach French online as well. So French online uh, is good. Join a course, okay? And then uh, repeat everything that I say. If you watch the video, and I know it's very difficult because you might not repeat it the right way, but I'm not there to tell you. Now, watch as many French films or listen as many French uh, songs as possible and practice with a French person or practice with someone who speaks French really well. Okay. Uh, say my channel, gaming and more. Okay. So I've done you a favor. Say my channel. Okay. So here we go. We have uh, the first question here. Is Earl, Earl Prince Lou says, Est-ce que les Français utilisent le passé composé ou l'imparfait la plupart des, du temps? Okay. Very good question. Do French people use the passé composé ou l'imparfait? Now, Earl, they use it all the time, regardless, okay? Absolutely all the time. So you need to know both. So what I'm going to do, and because one of the first questions was about the four tenses, the five main tenses, I'm going to show you four, and I'm going to show you that actually it's using everyday language. So have a look at that. I've already... Uh, put together the present, the passé composé, the imparfait, and the future. Uh, oh, thank you, Fins. Uh, it's the evening, it's the morning, that's why I look good in the morning. But you should see me right, you know, in the evening, it's not the same. Now, so if we, if we want to use uh, the imparfait and the passé composé, and let's take for uh, an example such as we want to say, 
parler, because that's a good one. If you wanted to say parler in the present tense, so you want to say I speak, okay, je parle, okay, je parle, okay. I'm using parler to speak, ER verb, because it's a first group verb and it's really easy to, uh, to conjugate because they follow a pattern. Please, please have a look at my videos when I conjugate the verbs in five different tenses, okay. But someone says, but why is it so important to know or do we know, do we talk more in the passive composé in the imperfect? We talk in both, actually. So if you wanted to say uh, parler, je parle, that means I speak. So it's a present tense. Now you want to say parler in the passive composé. So basically we want to say I have spoken. Okay. I have spoken, okay? Now, this is known as a passé composé because it's composed of two things, the auxiliary verb, to have or to be, and the past participle of that verb, okay? So, in that case, for to speak, it's spoken. How do you do that in French? You would use the same I, and then you would have have, j'ai, okay? And then spoken, parler. J'ai parlé. And that is your passé composé of that verb, parler. And by the way, the fact that we have an apostrophe here, here, can you see it here? That's because we cannot have je ai parlé. It doesn't sound good. So what we do, we drop the uh, E and we put an apostrophe here. So I have spoken means that it's an action that took place in the past and it's gone done over with, okay? That happened in the past, okay? But if you wanted to put this in the imperfect, you would want to say, I was speaking. So if you look at a timeline here, it's an action that took place in the past and somehow carried on, okay? It's not uh, interrupted. It's not uh, something that happened once. It's something that happens over a duration of time. So I was speaking. And in French, to do that, you take je and you take, it's not composed, so you don't need an auxiliary verb. Je parle, and then you need to know the endings of the imperfect. For je, it is A-I-S. Je parlais means I used to speak, okay? I was speaking, okay? Earl, does this mean the imperfect means it was a very long time ago? I know that's your question, Earl, isn't it? Possibly never to be repeated. Yes, in a way, actually, uh, but no, because you could use it again. You could uh, have another context where you used to speak or you were speaking, okay? So it's not necessarily that it happened a long time ago, it won't be repeated again, okay? It's just that if you mentioned it again, uh, it would be, uh, you would be using the imperfect, okay? So I finish here and I'll show you a timeline in one second. Future tense. Je parle, and then you keep the verb as it is, and then you add AI. Je parlerai. So, I will speak. Okay? I will speak. And remember that in French, we do not have will, or would, or could, or should. Okay? We don't have that. We have special endings. And the special endings are here. Okay? And for the future tense, it is AI. Parlerai. And it's the same as to have, okay? So that's exactly the same, and that's how you have uh, you have the the you know the, the the connection here, okay? Because someone asked me, is there a trick to it? Please watch my videos on five verbs in uh, verbs in five different tenses. I mean, because they will give you a pattern, and you will see that there is a pattern, okay? So. What I want to do here is put it in the timeline because Earl says, but, but why, how, how is that the imperfect and why do we use more than the others? We don't, we use both equally depending on. So let's for start, for example, we want to say that here it's me, okay, and I uh, watched, I was watching TV, so here's the television set, okay. Okay, that's the television set. I was watching TV. So this is an action that 
uh, was happening and then it carried on for a while maybe i was watching tv so it's a it's a, i was watching tv over a period of 10 minutes let's say okay 10 minutes when here something happened you arrived Ta -da! it's me ringing the bell i arrived okay so i arrived i was not arriving it's not an action that carried on i arrived like here i interrupted you watching television so this tense here is a past yeah they're both past tense by the way they are both past okay but one is the imparfait okay and one is the this one is the passé composé okay is the passé composé okay and that's what you need to know you need to know when to use what and and by knowing that you will be able to conjugate uh, this uh, more easily and i hope that answers some of your question Earl. and obviously please refer back to uh, my lessons about how to conjugate verbs and i think it's part of the french essential as well okay bonjour pritam bonjour uh, bonjour madame bonjour omar uh you made me fall in love with the language i'm glad that it happens raki i'm really aisha lawrence now bonjour now here's the next question that adam has selected for me um uh are le and le pronounced the same no no they are not at all so that is le and that is le so I'm not sure why you think they're pronounced the same, but they're very different. So because ES is pronounced A, so we have LE, okay, LE, and LE, okay. Now this has a E uh sound. If you, if you do the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, uh, okay, so it has a uh, sound okay a uh, sound but as soon as you add either an accent or a letter uh, a consonant r or the consonant s then this sound become a a a okay so we say li okay li so if you were to put that into uh, with a word so this article becomes for example this Okay, so we're talking about the cat, okay, the cat, so we say le chat, and then you want to put it into its plural, and you want to say the cats, then suddenly that sound changes, okay, and I think the reason why it has a different sound, it's because otherwise, because we don't hear the S, otherwise it will sound exactly the same, le chat, le chat. We can't have the same sound. We have to have a difference for me to know, in my French brain, to know that we are talking in the uh, uh, plural, okay? Hopefully that answers your question. Okay, so I have Ashish Sonny saying, can you put some tips daily on Twitter to please suggest your Twitter handle too? Okay, I'm assuming you're asking me to, uh, I'm, assuming you're asking me to uh, put a daily tweet do you know what I, I i am usually but i'm not very good at twitter but we are going to make sure that there will be a tip i think it's a very very uh, good idea actually so yes we will make a note and adam will make a note uh, that that will be good now uh luyan uh no luyan are we luyan okay can you put can you do that luyan should I say joyeux anniversaire or bon anniversaire? Okay, should you say joyeux anniversaire? And by the way, that means happy birthday or bon anniversaire. Okay, now both, both work. Absolutely both works. Okay, so you want to say joyeux anniversaire in the word, it, whatever you remember the best, bon anniversaire, good birthday, happy birthday and joyeux meaning more happy but bon meanings meaning good okay so joyeux happy happy okay and bon 
good, but both work. And by the way, you will notice that this has not got a E or an E. This does not have a E either, which means that anniversaire is a masculine word. Okay, so uh, watch out for that. You don't say joyeuse, you don't say bonne anniversaire, though you will hear when I say bonne anniversaire, you will hear the liaison between N and A. Okay, so here's the next one. Crafty10 says, how do you say brunch in French? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. How do you say brunch in French? Um, now, for the people who do not know and might not be uh, of uh, English or, or American, I don't know who says brunch, you know, but it's a breakfast lunch, isn't it? No, we wouldn't say that. There is no such a thing. We have le petit déjeuner. And let's write le petit déjeuner, which is the breakfast. Okay, déjeuner. And then we have le déjeuner. So it will be really hard to express the notion of brunch to a French person since it is not likely that they will ever eat in the middle of the morning. Okay, so le petit déjeuner, le déjeuner. I'm not sure how you could mix this two to say brunch, okay? And by the way, you have le dîner, dinner, okay? And there is something which I'm very fond of is les quatre heures. Now, do you know what les quatre heures? Ah, le quatre heures. Yes, who, who says uh, uh, les quatre heures? Uh, someone says le quatre heures. Okay, le quatre heures. Le quatre heures ou les quatre heures means the four o'clock. And the four o'clock is that time, uh, it's like a snack. Uh, where you have your um, maybe a coffee or maybe a cake or maybe a brioche with jam or maybe some cheese or something like that okay um, just very quickly I can see Mar Marcello Flores says is I have spoken the same as I spoke in French absolutely j'ai parlé j'ai Parley. Okay, that's really good. Jones, Montgomery, I've said your names a few times already. Okay. Je mange le petit déjeuner. Absolutely, Ali. Uh, very, very good. Okay. So, um, uh, Alex, why is the in temps de pomme is not D with an S? D pomme. Au temps de pomme. Uh, because it, it means uh, a lot of apples. Temps de pomme. There is, il y a tant de pommes, there is so much apples, it means so much, okay? Uh, you, you wouldn't say tant with an S because tant is already plural, okay? Now, another one, spider burger say, how do you say shut up in French? Seriously? Adam, you've selected that? Okay, how do you say shut up in French? Do you really want to know that? I can, I can say it, it's not a problem. Alors, how do you say shut up in French? Well, there are so many ways of saying shut up in French, but take the word shut, fermé, and that means to close as well, okay? We say uh, shut, fermé, to close. We would say la ferme. La ferme, okay? La ferme. Fermé, la ferme, okay? Ferme-la, or you could say as well, Ferme-la, okay? To shut it. Ferme-la. Does it help you? Tais-toi. Yes, ferme-toi. I ah, know you can't say that, ferme-toi. But you can definitely say tais-toi. Very good. Yeah, tais-toi. Okay, tais-toi. Uh, and uh, very quickly, because I can see El Palen saying, is there a bad connection with video? Or is it just my computer? No, that's not what I... <laughs> India, India. Ma'am, do we pronounce S in two? Do you know what? It depends. Okay. And funnily enough, we have recorded a video called Tu, 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 Tantus. Okay. Which uh, I should uh, probably do uh, sometimes. So, Tu really depends on the context. Okay. But most of the time, you do not pronounce it. Okay. Except that when it comes uh, on its own. Okay. Uh, so, if it comes with a noun after that you do not pronounce tous okay uh, but if it comes on its own tous you will pronounce okay uh, for example I'm, I'm going to give you an example because i like this question um you would say for example uh so tous les 
jour. OK, sorry, that's uh, all you eyes. OK, tous les jours means every day. OK, tous les jours. But I don't pronounce the S, do I? However, if you wanted to say je les vois tous, here suddenly I pronounce the S. I see them all. Okay, so here I've pronounced the S. And when you have tous on its own without a noun after that, pronounce the S. Okay, so hopefully, um, hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, now Daniel says pronomino and their usage, please. Is it possible to have a script, please? Okay, talking about a script. Have you seen that you can now uh, have access to the support guides, to the lessons that I post on YouTube, as well as the proper live lessons that I do? That means not these ones, but the lessons uh, if you sponsor me. So we give you, and I'm not sure we have any sponsors here at the moment, but we've got a few now. And if you sponsor me, you can have access to the support guide for each lessons that I post on YouTube and have a look at what we offer as well. Uh, we offer quite a few things. So it's worth considering if you wanted to have access to uh, the uh, the uh, worksheets. OK, now pronomino and their usage. Um, I'm going to be um, I'm assuming that pronomino uh you are talking about reflexive verbs am i right uh because sometimes you uh we have different languages in grammar but a, a pronomino uh is a uh, reflexive now reflexive is uh what goes back to you okay for example you could use the verb regarder and that means to watch or to see but if you added the pronominal form se regarder suddenly suddenly it means to watch yourself so that goes back to you okay so regarder goes back to you and that so je regarde okay that's my eyes looking but suddenly if you look at yourself in the mirror okay okay that's me okay and then suddenly that is pronominal so it goes back to you okay so se regarder how do you do that quite simply when you conjugate a verb you do it exactly the same way use all the tenses that i have uh, shown you in the past and use all these um you know uh, way of conjugated certain verb but add the pronominal uh, reflexive pronouns okay so the way you do that for je it's not se it's me so you transform the se into me uh for tu it's te for il il se so here you've got the first three uh reflexive uh pronouns then je me regarde okay so i look at myself okay the me means myself okay we don't put it at the end of the verb we put it in the middle here between the subject pronoun and the verb so tu te regardes he looks at himself okay il se regarde he uh sorry you look at yourself he looks at himself okay and then elle se regarde um, and uh, elle se regarde, il se regarde, and then nous is very tricky. It's nous nous. So nous nous regardons, and that means we look at ourselves. Okay. So please try to learn this. Je me tu te il se nous nous, and for vous it's vous. Vous vous regardez. Okay, and you need obviously to know how to conjugate this verb in normal present tense or whatever tense you want to say. Um, are you live streaming? Yes, bon play games live streaming at the moment. Uh, okay, bonjour. Okay, so je me regarde, tu te regardes, il se regarde, nous nous regardons, vous vous regardez. And for il and elle, and please again refer to my uh, my lesson. Il est ce. Okay. Il se regarde, E-N-T, at the end. Okay. Alexa, what's the difference between two and tous? Uh, Bushra, I will answer this question once I answer a fitness freak 
who says how to say I am busy in French. How to say I am busy in French. Now, I am busy in French is je suis occupé. Okay? So, je suis occupé, occupied basically. Occupé, okay, busy. It's a bit like uh, if you go to the bathroom, the toilet, okay, you would see uh, occupé, okay, as in busy. And the opposite of occupé would be libre, okay. Je suis libre. I am free, okay, but free as in it's free. Uh, not free money free because the money free word we want and please remember that word very uh, well it's gratuit okay gratuit okay so occupé je suis occupé ou je suis très occupé I'm very busy occupé occupied okay now the next one uh, Tisa Annan says how does il faut du pain means we need bread oh uh, ah, oh, yes. Um, that's a hard one. Oh, that's a hard one. Il faut. Okay. Il faut. Now, il faut can be translated as uh, one must. Okay, it says uh, must. Have to. Or it is necessary. Or we need okay uh, so try to remember that that il faut okay uh, it's um, an impersonal verb which means that you only conjugate it with il okay it doesn't come with a je it doesn't come with nous a vous it comes with il so the sentence is il faut il faut okay so il faut and then you add your verb or your noun so what is it you need Il faut du pain. We need bread, okay? Or it is necessary to have bread, okay? Il faut, okay? I hope that answers your question. Il faut du pain, okay? Now, let me have a look. If I put a verb, for example, il faut, and then you see, il faut, uh, Manger avant midi. So, here we go. How do you understand this? Il faut. I've just told you what il faut means. Okay. Il faut is it is necessary. One must. Okay. Or we need. Okay. So, il faut. One must. Okay. Or we need. It's the same, by the way. To eat. To eat. Okay before midday or noon okay so il faut manger avant midi one needs to eat okay and so you you use this as il faut and then you pass and then you add the infinitive but if you need something il faut du pain i need bread so il faut acheter du pain we need to buy some bread okay uh, we got another question here, Ricky, Rick, Rick, Ricky, Ricky, bonjour Alexa, how to say I am going to office and I am in office, okay, now when you are going somewhere, what verb do you think you use, okay, you're going somewhere, what verb do you think you use, so I am going in, uh, in the office, Okay, now I'm going to the, uh, alors, well done, uh, Nilanjana, and well done, Jaren, va, India, Ali, definitely, uh, that's the word we want, but we don't say va, V-A-S, it does not quite, uh, uh, quite work, okay, so I am going, it's je, and then V. Okay, so be be uh be careful that you are not translated I and then am and then going. It doesn't exist in French. So what you need to do is ignore the am and ignore the ing. Okay, so suddenly you have I go, and that's what you need to translate. Okay, Ali, je suis allé, I went. Okay, I went. Okay, you can't you can't um you can't use uh, the past if we are using the present tense. Okay, so. 
I am going, I go in the office. Je vais. Now, in the office is quite a tricky one because you've got to know office. Office is bureau. And you've got to know well, what, what is this preposition here? In the. Bureau is masculine. So, therefore, when you go somewhere and you're using a masculine noun, you say au. Je vais au bureau. Okay, je vais au bureau. So I hope that helps. Uh, what is the next one? Krishna Sharma, why le dîner, why not la dîner? I mean, how do I mean which word is considered masculine and which is feminine? Ah, uh, that's a, such a good question. Uh, and I have written, uh, uh, I have a video on... Um, uh, why gender matters and how to tell whether a word is masculine and feminine. By the way, there is not uh, not any tricks. And if I told you that most of the words ending in E are feminine, 75%. Feminine, would that help you? Because that's the, that's the closest I can say. But there are so many exceptions. So many exceptions. All the words in Sion, ending in Sion, T-I-O-N-S-N, are feminine as well. La natation, la mention, la nation, l'organisation. All of these words are feminine as well. So we've got... A few categories of verbs and again if you have the support guides you know you would know that I have created one just on that where there is a whole uh, uh, chart or table on why um, you know why we uh, uh, use uh, feminine and masculine and the ending of the word so that's all I can tell you at the moment okay John Montgomery how do you say I will never leave you till the end of time <laughs> yeah, in French, do you have a French girlfriend? Is that why? Okay, uh, I will never leave you. Okay, uh, that's very hard, but I'm going to write it like that. Je ne te quitterai jamais jusqu'à la fin du temps jusqu'à la fin des jours maybe des jours sounds better okay au du temps right this is um this is how to say i will never love uh, love you no sorry i will never leave you was it i will never leave you or love you uh okay i will never leave you now the way we've done this is that we've used the verb quitter can you see that quitter okay can you see the verb quitter and then we added the future tense ending for je which is and i'm going to change my uh, no no ver maybe a i can you see that je quitterai i will leave and because we say never we have to add the negation never so never is ne can you say that can you see that jamais okay so je ne Quitterai jamais. Now, because we said I will never leave you, we need to have you somewhere, and you is placed before the verb here. Te. Okay? So, je ne te quitterai jamais. Because uh, she's going to leave you right away instead. What's the difference? Huh? Uh, I want to say it takes me 10 minutes to read. Okay. Do you know what? I'm going to have a look because Adam is telling me it's the last question. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm so, so, so sorry about that. Uh, I, I really want to carry on. What I'm going to do is make a note of every single uh, of your... Um, okay, here we go. I'm going to make a note of every single of your questions and try to answer them as uh, as, a, as, you know, they will come into my lessons. They will come into my new videos as well your um your comments matter okay your comments matter to me to adam in the uh, at the editing to yana to caroline to all of the people that work with me i know i was told i was doing 30 minutes 
You know, me, if I had listened to me, I would go on and on and on and on and on forever. Okay, so I'm going to um, to leave you and love you and uh, have a wonderful day, whatever you do, and maybe evening. I don't know where you are in the world. Okay, and I'm going to try to answer your question. I'm so, so sorry. We've got to finish now. Uh, yes, Ali, I am French. Je suis française. Okay. <laughs> Au revoir tout le monde, au revoir Calum, bisous bisous, au revoir Fire Lord, euh, au revoir euh, California, Yoshi, euh, au revoir Barbados, au revoir Qatar, euh, Jones, and au revoir tout le monde, euh, and uh, nice listen Alex, I love you, I love you too, bye bye, bisous bisous, bisous 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 bisous, and we are off.